Hey class, welcome back. We are still talking about ancient Rome today. And today we are talking about the mythological part of, of ancient Rome or the the mythological beginning of ancient Rome, should I say, with Remus and Romulus. Uh, and you'll see as we go through this story that this is really a fictional story. All right. Uh, now, there might be some parts of it that's real because, you know, the, the Rome was supposedly named after Romulus. So, uh, but... But if you go through here, you'll see it's a good story, uh, and it, it supposedly tells the, the start of Rome. So uh, we're going to talk about it. It's mythological, though. Remus and Romulus. All right. So Remus and Romulus, they were twin brothers, or mythological twin brothers, who founded the city of Rome. And, and like I said, we're going to tell you about their story today. All right. So they were they were twin boys. They were born to the princess named Rhea Silvia, and their father was this guy right here, the fierce uh, god of war, Roman god of war, Mars, all right? Well, when they were born, the king of the city where they lived was was, was scared of them. He was scared because he's thinking, okay, one of these days, they're going to grow up. If they're, the, if they're the sons of the god of war, Mars, they're going to grow up, and they're going to take over my city, and so, you know what? I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, so what he did, he took the boys as babies and left them in a basket on the Tiber River, hoping that they would die. Twins are born. Romulus and Remus were twin boys born to a princess named Rhea Silvia. Their father was the fierce Roman god of war, Mars. The king where the boys lived was scared that someday Romulus and Remus would overthrow him and take his throne. So he had the boys left in a basket on the Tiber River. He figured they would soon die. All right. So they did not die, though. They did not die. They were found by a she-wolf, and the she-wolf protected them and raised them like, like they were her own. So in, uh, it, in the story, it says a friendly woodpecker came along and found them food to eat. Uh, but eventually, one day, a shepherd came along that was from the city, and he came across the twins. He took the boys home, and he raised the boys as his own children. Raised by a wolf. Boys were found by a she-wolf. The wolf cared for them and protected them from other wild animals. A friendly woodpecker helped to find them food. Eventually, some shepherds came across the twins. One shepherd took the boys home and raised them as his own children. All right. So they started growing up. They got older. And one day, Remus was out, and he was captured and taken to the king. And the king discovered, okay, these are the same. This is one of the same boys that I set out on the Tiber River years and years back. So uh, Romulus, which was Remus's brother, he gathered up some shepherds. They went to go rescue the brother, and they wound up killing the king. Growing up, as the boys grew older, they became natural leaders. One day, Remus was captured and taken to the king. He discovered his true identity. Romulus gathered some shepherds to rescue his brother. They ended up killing the king. All right, so the, the city learned, all right, these are the twins that were set out on the Tiber River a long time ago, and they have killed the king, so we want to offer them the, the crown. We want them to be the, the rule of the city as joint kings. But Remus and Romulus did not want that. No, instead, they wanted to found their own city. They wanted to set off and go find their own city and, and start a new city. So uh, they left to go find a good spot for their city. Growing up continued. When the city learned who the boys were, they offered to crown them as joint kings. They could be rulers of their homeland. However, they turned down the crowns because they wanted to found their own city. The twins left and set out to find the perfect spot for their city. All right. So eventually they came to a place where, where Rome is located today in Italy. And uh, they both liked the general area, but they disagreed on where to start the city at. Which hill to start it on? All right, they wanted each one wanted, wanted to place it on a different hill than it was started on. The original started on Palatine Hill. Founded in a new city, twins eventually came to a place where Rome is located today. They both liked the general area, but each wanted to place the city on a different hill. So Romulus wanted the city to be on top of Palatine Hill, which is where it was founded. Palatine Hill, where Rome was first founded, where they built the city to begin with. Remus preferred Aventine Hill, and 
they agreed, okay, we're going to wait for a sign from the gods. It's called an augury. And if we find a, a sign from the god, we're going to find out. It's going to determine how, which hill we'll put it on. So Remus saw a sign of six vultures first. And then Romulus saw 12. And each one of them claimed, okay, I won this. I won, just like two brothers fighting. All right, two brothers arguing, especially twin brothers. All right. So uh, <clears throat> they both claimed to have won. Well, that didn't go over too well with either one of them. And they started getting aggressive and getting angry with each other. Found in a city continued. Romulus wanted the city to be on top of Palatine Hill, while Remus preferred Aventine Hill. They agreed to wait for a sign from the gods called an augury to determine which hill to use. Remus saw the sign of six vultures first, but Romulus saw twelve. Each claimed to have won. Remus is killed. So Romulus went ahead and he started building his wall around Palatine Hill. Remus was jealous. He did not like it because he didn't want that want the city to be built on that hill. He wanted Aventine Hill. So he started making fun of Romulus. <laughs> All right. Romulus jumped over the wall to show how easy it was to cross it. And Romulus became angry and he killed Remus. They got in a fight and he killed, he killed his brother. Remus is killed. Romulus went ahead and started building a wall around Palatine Hill. However, Remus was jealous and began to make fun of Romulus's wall. At one point, Remus jumped over the wall to show how easy it was to cross. Romulus became angry and killed Remus. So, with Remus dead, Romulus continued to work on a city on Palatine Hill. That's where the very first, that's where the original city was built. All right. He officially founded the city on April 21st, 753 BC, making himself king, and he named it Rome after himself. From there, he began to organize a city. He divided his army into legions of 3,300 men. All right. <clears throat> he called the 100 most noble men and patricians and the elders of Rome the Senate. So all this is mythological of how all this got started, except for maybe the fact that it was named after Romulus. Uh, and Romulus was the one that founded the city. All right. The city grew and prospered. And for over a thousand years, Rome will be one of the most powerful cities in the world. Rome is founded. With Remus dead, Romulus continued to work on his city. He officially founded the city on April 21st, 753 BC, making him, himself king and naming it Rome after himself. From there, he began to organize the city. He divided his army into legions of 3,300 men. He called his hundred most noble men the patricians and the elders of Rome the Senate. The city grew and prospered. For over a thousand years, Rome would be one of the most powerful cities in the world. All right. Who was Romulus and Remus's father? Who was supposedly their father? Was it A, the god of war, Mars, B, the president, or C, Jupiter? It is, and you can tell this is old. I've had this around for a while because I've got still got Donald Trump in here as president. But their father was Mars, all right, the god of war, Mars. Ding, ding, ding. And the king we did not one. like that and said, okay, well, one of these days he's gonna, they're going to take over it. Our uh, my city, so I'm just going to set them out as babies here. I'm going to tell you, who first cared for the boys when they were abandoned? A, nobody. B, a she-wolf. Or C, Julius Caesar. It was B, a she-wolf. She-wolf found them and protected them like they, were their, like they were her own. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number three, when was the city of Rome founded? A, 2019. B, 1776. Or C, 753 B.C., 753 BC is when it says it was founded. Ding, ding, ding. Now we've we got the historical it. side too. The historical side said it was founded around a thousand BC, about 250 years before the Remus and Robin Lowe story. So, uh, all right, number four who found the twins and took them to his home? A, a shepherd, B, the president, or C, Jupiter? It was A, a shepherd. He, he found them and then he uh, raised them like his own children. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Number five, who killed Remus? A, Romulus killed him. B, Mr. Sean. Or C, he lived. It was A, Romulus. His own brother killed him because they got in an argument over which hill that the city should be placed on, whether it was Palatine or Aventine Hill. It was Romulus that killed him. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. And that is all of our comprehension questions. 
We'll be back next time with more Ancient Rome. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of these lessons planned out. So I will see you next time. You all have a good day.